Have you ever wondered about those YouTubers with like the beautiful, colorful, amazing, creative thumbnails and titles and video ideas? And like they're super talkative, super interesting, like their personality is amazing, nonstop, every single video, quality over quantity. You look at their page and you're like, yeah, like this, this YouTuber's got it. And then you look at the subscribers and you're like, oh, they don't have that many subscribers. Interesting. Do you ever wonder how those people are doing financially? Like, they must be making at least $1,000 per video because I'm obsessed and surely the rest of the world should be obsessed as well. So they must be making like millions of dollars. Hmm. I'm here to clear that up for you. <laughs> so yeah, if you've ever come across my page and you're like, oh my God, I'm so curious. Like how much money is she actually making and has she made on her YouTube channel? I'm here to give you those answers. This girl has yet to be discovered. Like, <laughs> I'm doing a little bit too much. I'm doing a little bit too much. But people have been curious about how much money I've made on my YouTube channel as a small YouTuber. I consider myself a big YouTuber because every single one of my videos I'm obsessed with and I love them. <laughs> and I get good feedback from like my subscribers. So I'm gonna say in my head that I'm a big YouTuber, but to the rest of the world, I would be considered a small YouTuber. Let me give you a little bit of context and background about my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Sammy. Please subscribe to my channel if you like cool YouTubers. If you don't like cool YouTubers, then fine. But if you're an interesting, cool person and you also like other interesting, cool people, then subscribe. So since I'm a small YouTuber, <laughs> There's not a ton of information to break down, but I am gonna give you the information that I can. So let's just say that my channel is all about quality, not quantity. <clears throat> At least, you know, that's what, that's what I think. On average, I've posted about 25 videos per year and I've been posting YouTube videos for about four years. So I now have 116 videos on my channel, but I did have some choreography videos of like my artistic work that have nothing to do with like my channel's theme. So I kind of say that like I have 100 videos. I also want to preface, I've never been a full-time YouTuber ever, hence the 25 video average per year. Even when I went through my super dark point when I was unemployed, I didn't consider myself a full-time YouTuber because it wasn't giving me a full-time income and I also was not giving YouTube my full-time energy I just post and I just have fun with it right now I'm not in the era where I'm like trying to figure out the analytics and what performs well and those kinds of things I'm just trying to prove to myself that I can post at least once a week I would honestly love to see my channel grow with me giving it my full-time energy I just haven't really had the opportunity to do that because I have to pay my rent and I also don't consider YouTube my career right now. I consider being an artist my career. Super quickly, let me just tell you what we're gonna get into. We'll talk about when I got monetized. Also, I'm looking at my laptop. OV. Oh, how many videos that I posted before I got monetized. My best performing topics, my best performing videos, my niche, which is all over the place. I'll show you some of my analytics which is so vulnerable. I don't think I've ever shown my analytics on here. I'll show you how it looks like whenever I've had my views spike in a day, most money that I've ever made in a day and the least amount of money that I've made in a day, what happens whenever I take breaks and I stop posting, am I still making money every single day? And then finally, I'm gonna show you the big old number that you're probably here for, which is how much money I have made up to date with my four year YouTube channel. I would say that my niche is vlogging living in New York City. Eh, so basic, I know, so annoying, so oversaturated, I don't care. <sighs> I love making those kinds of videos and I love documenting my life and I just happen to live here, so it just happens naturally, you know? But I have no problem just going all over the place with my niche because I just like to post all kinds of videos. So you're gonna see a little bit of randomness, like me randomly cooking a fun recipe. School vlogs, back in the day when I used to be in school, Cool. Me having to like <laughs> scroll through my own channel, I don't even know. I have a lot of thrifting and fashion content. A little bit of traveling. Whenever I get to travel, I love to document that. Like a cross country road trip, <laughs> which I did and I have two vlogs about. Those vlogs are honestly underrated. Anyway, random experiences like when I went to the VMAs in 2021. 
me having multiple identity crises like dyeing my hair not knowing what i'm gonna do after college so it's just like it's just my channels about me living my life basically i would say that my two niches that have been the most popular for my channel and that get me the most consistent views every single day are my nyu vlogs and all of my thrifting and fashion related videos i'm realizing i love to do this i love to count a little one two three so when I go to my analytics, I usually look at this real-time updating live little section because it's just a quick way to see how my channel's doing. I always see that my week in the life of an NYU student and my thrifted purses collection video, both of those videos consistently get about 15 views a day. And I think it's because they're very searchable. So I posted my first YouTube video as a YouTuber type creator august 1st 2020 you know i'm pretty sure that my aunt and my grandparents and my parents have watched that video and like all of my videos especially from the beginning probably all the 2000 views are from them <laughs> thankfully i got a lot of support from friends and family i started it you know coming out of the pandemic basically when i moved back to new york city in 2020 as a way to just give myself something to do and during the pandemic i really just realized like i had wanted to have a youtube channel and to just document my life here for a while and i was like literally the world almost ended so why am i not just doing what I wanna do. I didn't have a little vlogging camera or anything, but I was like, I have an iPhone. So I started making vlogs on my iPhone for a while until I proved to myself that I was consistent. And then I invested in this camera that I have right here. I got monetized in June, 2021. So it took me 10 months to get monetized and I had posted. What? I think I posted 42 videos before I got monetized, which is almost half of the videos that I have on my channel. It's a mixture of long form and very short form videos. Like I have a few videos on here that are like four minutes and some that are more sit down style talking videos closer to 20 minutes. You can go ahead and stop me and see what kinds of videos I was posting. I remember it feeling like a long journey because each video, especially at the beginning, would take me like eight to 12 hours to edit and I really worked so hard on like the branding of my whole channel so just know that if one of your goals is to get monetized you know it takes some work let's actually see what my best performing videos are and how much money I made on those when I did a room makeover and it was 70s aesthetic that video has 9,700 views it's a video I posted three years ago this one has had super natural growth it seems and I've made $44.16 and I've gained 94 subscribers just from this video my second top performing video at least in views is how I got into NYU you into specifically the dance program i feel like that one's really searchable and super niche because if you look that up i feel like no one else has talked about their audition experience specifically for nyu tish dance so when you see a need you know you gotta fill the gap you gotta give people the information that they want i've made forty dollars and twelve cents and I've gained 64 subscribers. It has just really grown over time. And I usually see this video getting more views whenever it's like college application season. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and related to that, my third best performing video is a piece that I choreographed while I was at school. And the reason why that this video actually got more views is because it was a part of an article my freshman year <laughs> it was just highlighting the dance program and i don't know why they just decided to put a link to my piece but that video is not monetized because it doesn't have copyright free music so this video a week in the life of an nyu student living in nyc as a 21 year old grad student this is the one i was talking about that is still consistently getting views so this video has made 34 dollars and 25 cents and i've gained 76 subscribers and it has 7,900 views Let's see how this popular thrifting video has done in terms of money because it's a different niche. So yeah, also the amount of money that you make on a video also depends on the topic of the video because that will then decide what kind of ads that YouTube is adding into your video. Like if you have a finance channel, supposedly you're way more likely to make more money versus if you make vlog style videos. So my first 
Thrift with me at Texas Thrift made $18.55 and I gained 59 subscribers. And it has 6,122 views. Okay, so I hope that that gives you more of a sense on how much I've been making on older videos. Some of my more recent ones, like let's say the Get Ready With Me for Valentine's Day, that one has made me $2.38 and it's gained me one subscriber. The shortest NYC vlog you've ever seen, that one has made me $1.66 and also gave me one subscriber and this is a super short video it's just six minutes and it has 303 views so there's just a big range and i haven't really figured it out or studied it enough to be like okay it's because this niche makes me this many more cents blah, 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 blah. like the numbers are small for me to be caring so much about it you know, whenever there's a day where I get more views than usual, which has actually happened in the past two weeks, let's see how much money do I make. Does views and amount of money correlate or not? So I had taken a little three week break from posting consistently in 2024. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come back strong. And I posted a 30 minute video explaining my experience doing a past life regression. And it was a pretty interesting video if I do say so myself. It was more of a story time video. And I feel like because the topic is so interesting, I feel like it had my subscribers hooked. So YouTube pushed it a little bit more on the homepage. Three days after posting, I got 326 views in a day, which I was like, <gasps> Oh my gosh, 300 people are watching me in a video. That's kind of crazy. That quickly went down to like normal. When I just took my recent three week break, consistently I was getting about 70 views a day. That's usually what happens when I take a break. It'll be an average of like 30 to 80 views. And what that really just means for my channel is that it's just my searchable videos, like the ones that I mentioned earlier, that accumulate views like slowly over time. I posted another video last week, my summer fashion Pinterest board, where I was talking about my yeses and my no no's for summer fashion trends and that is the longest video that I have ever posted so I was a little bit nervous I was like nobody's gonna watch this but then this one did even better than my past life regressions video I was like maybe my subscribers like this long form content so the day after I posted I got 540 views in a day I was so proud of myself for making a long form video that people were actually entertained by so let's see how much money those two videos made since they're doing pretty well so far the past life regression video has gotten 530 views if you have haven't gone to go watch that video i highly recommend that you watch that one after this it got me three subscribers and it made me three dollars and 86 cents the summer fashion pinterest board video has gotten 643 views in about four days kind of crazy for my channel at least and it's gotten me 10 subscribers Welcome to my channel. It's made me $3.06. So you see, even though this video has gotten me more subscribers and has slightly more views than the past life regressions video, the past life regression video has made me 80 more cents. I don't know, the math is not mathing. I don't really have the time or energy to like really dissect that. Sorry y'all, so when I filmed this, I had a large iced coffee right before. I'm a little bit all over the place and I completely forgot to mention the most and least that I have made through AdSense while being monetized. And the most that I've ever made, I believe is $5.68 in a day. And then the least I've ever made while being monetized, I think it was around six cents, maybe less, like four cents. Um, It was kind of difficult to find. Let's just look at my lifetime earnings. Drum roll, please. So up to date with this four-year-old YouTube channel, I have earned $603.81. My overall views are 173,600 views. That's kind of a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, there's your answer. I hope that this gave you some insight into how much a little old YouTuber makes. I'm sure in the future, I'm gonna get way better into doing like deep dives into my analytics. If somebody came up to me though, in the middle of the street and just was like, here's $603, I would take it, you know? So if you just think of it that way, like $600 is a lot of money. All for making my silly little videos that I'm gonna show my children one day. Um, Thank you so much for watching watching if you got up to this point. If you're still here, comment down below a little heart emoji. If you haven't yet, go to my channel right now and watch the rest of my videos. I swear they're super entertaining. Make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications so that you're ready every single time I post.